Leslie joins us. Thank you as always for your <laughs> investigation. So what, what were some revelations going through the museum for you? We're in a golden era of cannabis right now, and it was fascinating. Uh, that's one way right? to put it, yeah. <laughs> and it's fascinating to really look back at the storied history of what got us to this place and time right now, and really how the medicinal use of marijuana actually was a catalyst for the change and the acceptance we're seeing in our culture today. Now it seems like cannabis is everywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's even in beauty. How does the consumer know what they're getting is actually safe? Well, a big issue right now in the cannabis industry, despite legalization, is uh, the black market of cannabis, right? Uh, if you look at sales of cannabis nationwide, the black market actually accounts to $70 billion. That's seven times more than the legal market for cannabis. And this is happening for a variety of reasons, but primarily because it's very complicated to get a, a license for your dispensary, you have to go through state and local levels, and there's a lot of taxes and fees, and the fees are associated a lot of times with the rigorous lab testing that goes into the products that are on store shelves at legal dispensaries. And this is where it really involves the consumer because if you're shopping at an illegal dispensary, you don't know if the products on the shelf are being tested for, for safety. And there's been cases where there's been uh, bacteria, mold, and dangerous pesticides in this illegal black market cannabis. And uh, my law enforcement sources, who I consulted for this piece, actually told me that uh, there's a bait and switch scenario going on right now. So if, let's say, you go in a, in a legal dispensary and there'll be products that you might know as legal products, and they'll take the, what's inside of those products and put different products in there that maybe haven't been tested for safety. So you really have to be careful as a consumer and do your research. And there's a few ways that you can actually do that. In Los Angeles, there is a comprehensive map that you can type in the specific dispensary and it will pop up and let you know if it is legal or not. And this is you know, updated religiously. And if you're not sure and that's not working for you, you can ask this dispensary, let me see your license. And there's a lot of changes that are happening too because these dispensaries pretty soon are gonna have to have signs on their doors, similar to restaurants, to let yeah. you know that they are in fact licensed. I'm just curious one thing, I think there's, at least for me as a consumer, there's some confusion. The people who work at these dispensaries, mm -hmm. are they pharmacists? How are they licensed? Like, how do you know that they have the expertise to counsel you <laughs> on these like products? They like marijuana. Well, that, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's exactly that's it. That's the qualification. <laughs> that's why there's, that's why there's, they're standing behind that counter because it's they true. believe it. They yes. have a certificate. It, 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 exactly it. Right. And before that's you answer I that, I, I really, but, but like, I think hold, you, you are right. You can actually go to school now.